Hello everyone, Maria back from the Madison Area Public Library. I'm here with another Tech Tuesday video. This time we're gonna be going over the History and um, History Reference Center. Uh, this is gonna be a great resource for anybody that is doing just specifically historical figures or time periods in history. It's um, full of encyclopedias, um, magazines and journals and articles. It has full text information so you don't have to worry about just having to find just a small source or a small citation or abstract i will have the full complete source available to you so as always we have to go to our website mapld.org you are going to need your library card and your pin number so for any reason if your pin does not work please give us a call at 708-748-4431 or email us at mtslib at mapld.org that's if that pin don't work okay so have your library card ready, and we're gonna to go to Research and Learning, ABC List. We're gonna go down to the History Reference Center. And before this screen pops up, since I'm already logged in, it'll ask you for your library card and your PIN. Once you put it in once, it will automatically take you to this page. If you were to click off and come back later, it'll still register that your library card and your PIN was submitted earlier that day. So mine's already in, so I just went straight to this page. Um, let me get rid of my little video so you can see more. There you go. All right, so you can see U.S. history, world history. Down here has popular sources, so it's like definitely broken down by different time periods. So we have the ancient world, Middle Ages, emergence of modern world, and they also have like historical times in history and national parks. If you're looking for a specific person, so for example, we could put in uh, Alexander. Oops. Alexander Hamilton. And then you will see that full text is already available. Sometimes they'll have a couple of little areas where a journal will be, will be shown and it doesn't have the full text. So if you go back, you wanna make sure that you click on the ones that says full text or you can click on the left-hand side here where it says limit to full text, click on that. And that'll get rid of any of the information that it does not have full text. So there's if two options to the full text. You could have the HTML full text, which is just basically, if you click on here, you'll see the writing. Sometimes we'll have an audio of somebody reading what's written here. Or if you go where it says PDF full text, it'll show you the scanned version of the article, the part of the book, um, the journal, or the magazine. So that's if you, you're really into seeing where the information came from and how it looks within the book. Sometimes if you do PDF full text, for example, let's see if they have one. Um, nope. Sometimes they usually have pictures in there too, but sometimes they don't. And then you can also limit by the source type. So if you're looking for the specific magazines, if your instructor says they just want books, you can click on books. And these will give you a couple of different areas of authors that wrote about Alexander Hamilton. So if we want to go back, we also have on the right hand side here, if there's images, they'll stay here. If it's related videos, they'll have there. Um, sometimes if it's related, it doesn't always necessarily mean that's the person that's within the video. So just be careful with that. Um, sometimes it'll just be like, um, this one looks like it's John F. Kennedy. He might have been referencing Alexander Hamilton. So that's why it's in the related videos since it's related to our topic that we're searching for. Um, you can also go back, let's go. Do, do, do. Go back and say, let's just do another. Let's do Thomas Jefferson. Um, see here on the side here, related videos. So these are just probably people that are talking about him. Um, go back and pull that out. Full text is already still clicked because we clicked it when we we're looking at Alexander Hamilton. You can also do subject. So if you're looking for president, um, if you just if this was say like um, an area, if you're looking for an area, Egypt, and you're looking for the historical period of a certain uh, ruler, then you could subject area would also have more options, but this, we're actually looking for a person. So it's pretty already, pretty much already limited to that area. Um, publication, you can see if there's different types of publications. So where they come from, the type of book, the name of the magazine or journal. Uh, we're gonna keep, let's just look for Ron Thomas Jefferson. Let's try academic journals. Oh, this is cool. So, old image. A lot of different things you can do. Here you go. Black and white photograph. Um, 
Thomas Jefferson as Supreme Court. So you can find a lot of cool information here. Old paintings, color photography that they used to have back then. Monuments. Like I said, full text. If you click on that, I'll give you the full text from the book, magazine, journal, or article. But yeah, definitely not too hard to use. Um, once again, in order to get to it, you have to go to our website, mapld.org. Um, once you go there, you can go to research and learning. It is a list and click on down to history reference center. Remember you do need your library card and your pin number. As always, if you have any questions, give us a call 708-748-4431. Or you can email us at mtslib at maplb.org. Don't hesitate to ask us any questions. Um, if you're getting stuck or you're not understanding how to find an article or work the database, just send us an email, give us a call. We're definitely there to help you. Until next time, stay safe, take care, and hope to see you guys soon. Bye.